Okay, here we have a dog who's going to put on a basket muzzle for the very first time in his life. So there's a little cheese whiz on the outside of the basket muzzle, and I'm asking him, can you stick your nose in there and lick it off? And he says yes by doing so. Then I move the cheese whiz a little bit further into the basket muzzle, and once again I say, can you stick your nose in there? And he says, yep, I really want that cheese whiz, so I'm going to stick my nose in and get it. You notice that the whole time I'm doing this, I'm not ever approaching the dog with the muzzle. The muzzle is staying stationary, and the dog is coming to it. So now I'm going to put cheese whiz in the very tip of the muzzle, and again ask the dog, can you put your nose in there? And he says yes, and he goes in and gets it. So we're going to try that again. A little bit more cheese whiz. We want to get lots and lots of repetitions under our belt, so he learns that this is a great place to put his nose. I like the basket muzzles because you can actually put the cheese whiz in, or any treat, while the dog has his nose in there. Now here he tries to go around the outside of the basket muzzle. He's pretty smart to get the cheese whiz, and I'm not going to allow him to do that in order to get the treats that he wants. He has to do what I want, which is stick his nose in. And he eventually figures that's the only way he's going to get it. And so he does it. So next I think I'm ready to buckle the muzzle on him. But really, the goal is just to have a real fun experience for the dog and not to push too far, too fast. The dog's going to set the pace. So here I'm smearing some chicken baby food in the bottom, or in the tip of the muzzle. You could use peanut butter or liverwurst, anything smelly that the dog likes. That's going to be long lasting. So again, I don't push the muzzle on the dog. I let the dog put his nose in the muzzle. Now I'm slowly and gently going to buckle it. And the whole time I'm doing this, I'm watching the dog to say, to see if he is having a good time still. I'm going to put some more baby food through the muzzle. So the whole time he's got the muzzle on, the very first time, all he's doing is thinking, wow, this is a great thing. Look at all these treats that come in here. I really need to keep sticking my nose in this face mask because great things happen when I do that. Okay, he's still really happy. He's not fighting it at all. I'm going to take it off now before anything untoward happens, before he gets nervous. And he shouldn't because everything was nice and calm and fun. And now I'm going to put a little bit more baby food in there and say, can you put your nose back in there again, even though I buckled it on you the last time? And he says, absolutely. I'm not afraid of this thing at all. This is a fun place to stick my nose.